Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute's Department of Mathematical Sciences has a rich tradition of using applied mathematics to think outside the box. This approach allows students and faculty to advance their careers while solving some of the world's most important problems. RPI educated the civil engineers, chemists, and geologists that created the infrastructure of the United States and the world, including the Brooklyn Bridge and the Panama Canal. In the 1930s, Rensselaer recognized the need for mathematics in the applications of science uh, and established the Department of Mathematical Sciences with Edwin Brown Allen as its first chair. And his successors built a world-class applied mathematics department. We're applied mathematicians. What that means, we're interested in how mathematics can be used to understand the world that we live in. Our program's different in the sense that we study mathematics both as a subject unto itself, but also how it's usable or useful to the world we live in. Our students have very rich educations when they graduate from here. The Department of Mathematical Sciences is right-sized. That means that it's big enough to cover a lot of the bases in applied mathematics, and yet it's small enough that we have a family feel to us. One of the things that we have are, we call it low walls. It's very easy for people across disciplines to work together. It's a rich environment where people can take advantage of tools being de developed by their colleagues in order to advance their own research area. Another way of calculating CS. The data science group collaborates with chemists and biologists to study the spread of diseases. The dynamical systems group studies random phenomena in, in huge systems. The mathematical modeling group studies uh, classical things like fluid mechanics and solid mechanics up through modern things like invisibility cloaks. You can have classrooms where you learn all of these things and they're an integral part of what we do at RPI. But you have to get students out of the classroom. You have to have them learn what it is to be a mathematician. The undergraduate education culminates in a research experience. That research experience involves an application of mathematics and is mentored by uh, graduate students and faculty and makes an impact on a real world problem. Our students bring problems that they are interested to us and so that they find certain things that they are, would like to understand mathematically and we integrate them into our projects. What then happens is they get excited, they own this problem, they develop it, they are successful mostly, and then they go on and they you know, have very nice careers. In addition to a comprehensive undergraduate education, Rensselaer offers a world-class graduate education in applied mathematics and also houses the Cutting Edge Inverse Problem Center. The center that I direct is on inverse problems. These are problems where the data is very indirectly related to the answer that you seek. Within my center, people work primarily within working groups. That means they have people from different departments who are faculty members, graduate students and postdocs, and they work collectively on a particular problem. In our current project, we are working with experimentalists at the University of Rochester, with people at GE, and also with mechanical engineers here at Rensselaer. And our problem is to, to make a new diagnostic tool for medical doctors. My research is in elastography, which is the imaging of biomechanical properties of tissue in order to diagnose things like cancer. Our elastography working group here is comprised of people from different backgrounds. We have some mathematicians and some mechanical engineers. And so there's people coming into it with different perspectives and new ideas. Rensselaer also brings the mathematics community and industry together through its mathematical problems and industry workshops. Participants from industry come in and present problems of interest to their uh, companies. And then from there, the university participants break up into small working groups. And then at the end of the week, each group presents summary presentations. As a warm-up to this intense workshop, Rensselaer hosts a graduate student mathematical modeling camp. At the camp, the students work on problems that are presented by invited faculty mentors. And the essential idea is to promote mathematical modeling, analysis, scientific computing, and critical assessment of solutions. And so at the end of the camp, the students uh, present to the group the results that they've obtained. 
It gives them a diverse experience outside of, of traditional classroom setting. With its diverse and interdisciplinary approach, Rensselaer provides a stimulating work environment for faculty and students alike. I'm living here with experience in doing research, and that's something that will be really helpful in my career. We're not just an ivory tower math department. We take what's learned for the, the mathematician and add to it the ability to apply it to something real. That's our unique advantage.